This half hour off with weather. Gary Lezak back. Everyone still talking about this Buffalo snowstorm, and they're not out of the woods yet. Absolutely. Now they got a storm that's coming in there as well. It's excited to be here in the digital social media center with yeah, Dad right back here. I can't, oh, it's my first time in here. So uh, this is so exciting to be part of the studio. But uh, here's my Facebook fan page. Yesterday I posted this picture. Uh, from one of our affiliates in Buffalo, and you can see that's the snow shower. We're going to talk about that. Well, a, lot, a whole band of snow showers that came in. I got 37 comments on Facebook, and uh, I'm not jealous at all is what Tina says. I am because I want the snow. Now, what is going on there? And by the way, no snow in Kansas City for quite some time. Meteorologist J.D., our weather team, has been analyzing, going over this lake effect phenomenon. Yeah. And this year, it's just incredible. It's, you look at this stuff, Gary. This is, we're talking around 70 inches of snowfall. This is six to seven feet. This is taller than you oh. of snow. This is literally snow up to the top of your head. It. That'd be incredible. So the big question is, some folks around here, we don't have the Great Lakes. You may be wondering, what is this lake effect snow? How do we get this? Let me explain a little bit, getting a little geeky on you here, of how we do this. So let's go down to about the Buffalo area. We take a look here. We're going to give ourselves a different perspective on this and put things at a flat surface. So you have these great lakes, these warm bodies of water. Right now, with how big those bodies of water are, that temperature relative to the ground is still very warm. What does warm air like to do? Warm air likes to rise up into the sky. When we do that, we get those super cool clouds going on. All that moisture is up there. Then a loft in the atmosphere. We still have some very strong steering winds up there, which push all those clouds and that moisture off to the east. You get the heavy snow coming down and this whole recycling continues this conveyor belt of snow over and over lifting that moisture up pushing it out up and out and you get these bands of snow Gary Incredible. taller than your head and when you talk about warm we're talking relative the water yes. the water temperatures are in the 40s they haven't frozen yet they drop into the 30s eventually they will freeze once the lakes freeze you end that relatively warmer air so 40 degree water temperature is warm as JD just said compared to 10 degrees above. Yeah, it's the water. all relative, but right. it's an amazing machine. The atmosphere has been doing this for yeah. years. Truly incredible. And one of the record breakers going on, yes. right? It's not yes. over yet. So uh, crazy. We'll have our forecast in a few minutes. Justin. All right. Thanks for explaining that, guys. And snow.